Hey guys, is your Samsung phone feeling slow, bloated and full of junk apps you never use? Don't worry, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to install Lineage OS custom ROM on any Samsung device without using a computer. If you like this kind of stuff, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now without wasting any time, let's get started. So I just installed an amazing custom ROM on my phone called Lineage OS. And honestly, it's a total game changer. It's based on Android 15, has absolutely zero bloatware, and the performance is incredibly smooth. What's even better is that you can install this ROM on almost any Samsung device. As you know, custom ROMs are loved for their customization options, and yes, Lineage OS is no different. In fact, this ROM gives you a lot of control over how your phone looks and works. You can customize almost everything to fit your style. Lineage OS is lightweight, clean, and gives you the kind of freedom that Samsung stock software simply doesn't. All right, that's enough about the features for now. You can explore more once it's installed. Now let's get into the real part, how to install Lineage OS on your Samsung device. So for this video, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy A52s, currently running One UI 6.2, which is based on Android 14. And yep, we're about to ditch all of that. Now, before we dive in, let's quickly check if your phone actually supports this Lineage custom ROM. To do that, you'll need to install the Treble Info app. Once it's installed, open the app and tap on View Details. Here, if it says supported, your Samsung phone can run Lineage OS. If it says not supported, your device isn't compatible with this ROM, so you can't install a custom ROM this way. If supported, great. Now tap Browse Images to download the ROM. Here, scroll down under Android 15 and download the Lineage OS custom ROM. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and extract the file to a folder on your phone. Now that the ROM is extracted, you'll need a pen drive or an SD card. So go ahead and copy the ROM onto your pen drive or SD card. Now before we can flash the custom ROM, there are a couple of important things we need to do. First, go to Setting and Enable Developer option. Once Developer Options is enabled, go back and tap on Developer Options. Now let's make sure your bootloader is unlocked, as that's crucial for this method. If your bootloader isn't unlocked, no worries. I've already made a video where I show you how to unlock the bootloader without a PC. Go ahead and check that out first. Once unlocked, come back and enable USB debugging. This is essential for flashing the Lineage custom ROM. Alright guys, now you'll need another Android phone to flash TWRP recovery onto your Samsung device. Now on that device, download the required TWRP files for your Samsung phone. To find the correct files, you can search on Google or check out the same video first, then come back. Next, install the Eros Flash Tool app and open it. Select both files, the TWRP file and then the VBMETA file. Let me quickly do that. Now put your Samsung phone into download mode. Reboot the phone and as soon as the Samsung logo disappears, hold volume up and down together. On the blue screen, press volume up once to confirm and that's it. Your device is now in download mode. Just make sure OEM Unlock and FRP Lock are both turned off. As soon as your Samsung phone enters download mode, you'll get a pop-up in the Eros Flash Tool app. Just tap Allow to connect both devices. Once connected, go to the Options tab in Eros and disable Auto Reboot. Finally, tap Start to Flash TWRP Recovery. It might take few seconds, so wait for it. Alright, TWRP is now installed. Let's quickly boot into TWRP Recovery. Just press and hold volume down plus power buttons until the screen turns off, then immediately press and hold volume up plus power buttons to enter recovery mode.
now in TWRP, you won't be able to access internal storage because it's encrypted. That's why we need a pen drive. But before flashing custom ROM, let's format the data first. So tap on wipe then format data, here type yes and confirm it will format all the data in the device. Once that's done, reboot into recovery mode again. Alright, we're back in TWRP. Now tap on install, then tap select storage and choose USB OTG. Next, tap on install image and locate your lineage OS image file. Here, scroll down, select system image and then swipe to confirm flash to begin the installation. This will take a few minutes, so sit back and let it finish. Once the flashing is successful, simply tap reboot to restart your device. Your Samsung phone will now boot into Lineage OS for the first time. The first boot might take a few minutes, so just be patient. Let me fast forward it. Alright, the device is now booted into Lineage OS and you're all set. You've just installed a clean, fast and bloat-free custom ROM without using a PC. Now go ahead and explore the features, customize everything to your liking and enjoy the smooth experience. So by following this method, you can install Lineage OS custom ROM on any Samsung device without using PC. It's clean, fast and gives you full control over your phone. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more awesome guides. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.